working on the Land Rover 1959 Series 2 and I will show you what I'm doing today right there working on the little reservoir tank if you know anything about Land Rovers you know that this little tin can is the brake fluid reservoir it holds the fluid for the clutch and for the brake and this one had developed a leak around the fittings so what I did was took the fittings completely off I've got some nice little aluminum crush washers right there and we're gonna put it back together these crush washers are rated for 29 foot-pounds of torque we're just going to uh, slowly start to crush them and see where it's at and then we're gonna double check that we don't have any leaks so we can get the brakes back into action on the Land Rover. Okay. We always have to start with the one that's in the side. You'll notice this can's got just a slight dent right there. Once I put this in, I'll be able to pop it back out. So the washer goes on the outside, like so. Now the trick is getting it on the inside. Okay, to get it started, I have to put the wrench inside. So I'm gonna get it as close as I can. Make sure the washer's on. Okay, so that is started. Next, I'm gonna take it over to the vise and clamp it in there to finish tightening it up. Okay, so hopefully you can see okay. Just gotta go on this way. Uh, the internal wrench here is a 19, and the socket that I'm using is an 18. So we're just gonna start to snug this in now. Hold it tight. This is on the inside. This is the basically the reservoir for the clutch master cylinder. So they are, even though they're both in the exact same piece or in the same tank, there are two pieces. So what I'm gonna do is drop the nut in. There we go. Now I'll set that down in and hold it with my finger. So I have it just lightly started. There we go. Ooh. We're going to do basically the same thing, torque it down to crush that washer right, let's see, right there, okay? You can see the washer underneath. This should be a little easier. Got it in the vise. Instead of going through the hassle of putting it on and then finding out it leaks again, what I'm going to do is take a couple of old ones that I have. We'll thread those on. There's that one. And here is this one. So we'll put these on. Now we'll put a little fluid in it and see what happens. In fact, we'll put that in the vise too so it keeps it all up out of the way. Okay, maybe you can see that one is leaking slightly. So I'm gonna drain it and take it back apart and tighten that one up more. The bottom one though, looks, let's see if I can get that. Bottom one looks good, it's nice and dry. Unfortunately, I have to take the bottom one out to fix the side one. Okay, so I still have a leak, but I noticed it's not now, it is not on this. But you can see right in the seam of the can where the can was soldered that there's a little tiny crack. So I'm going to clean that out really good, take my torch with a little bit of solder, just heat that up and just see if I can feed just a little bit of flux and solder in there to seal that back up. Okay guys, I put just a little bit of flux on there. And let's see what happens. You definitely see it's cracked. Try to put all the heat in the bottom. It's close. It's 
I want to see it sucking it in just a little bit. Whew, that looks hideous. Let's clean it up a little. <laughs> definitely a little bit of contamination down in it it's starting to go in but not easy I don't know guys I think I'm gonna have to take it all the way apart clean everything didn't want to do that All right, let's see if that did it. Okay, hopefully you can see that. There is nothing leaking around the seam. There's nothing leaking on the side. The reservoir is full. Sorry about that, I keep, I'm looking myself. A Little bit of solder in that bottom. It doesn't look too terrible. Okay, and you can see there, nothing leaking on the bottom. So I think we can call this possibly a success. <laughs> okay, hopefully you can see the reservoir is completely full and I have taken some paper and put a little bit of paper on over a couple of rags. So tomorrow I will come out and check this and if I don't see any brake fluid on the paper, uh, I'd say it's fixed. All right, I am back out in the shop. It's the next morning. And as you can see, there's nothing that has dripped off any of the fittings or the tank. There's a little bit of fluid over there, but I'm pretty sure that was some stuff that got splashed on the side of the bracket. You can see a little bit right there on the nut. So I think that just had worked its way down. So I am very confident that this thing is good with no leaks.